Hello, RuneScape is a complex game full of cool secrets, and I'm here to expose some of them. So here are 12 weird tips and tricks that may help you out in RuneScape, or maybe you'll just find this interesting. The first is that you can keep your untrimmed skill cape. When you get your first 99, your skill cape is untrimmed, and normally when you get your second 99, your first one becomes trimmed as well. But you can keep your first cape untrimmed by dropping your untrimmed cape before you get your next 99 and telegrabbing it from the ground after. You don't need to drop it again when buying another cape or any other time except for when you get a 99. Though, if you ever drop your untrimmed cape another time for whatever reason, be sure to telegrab it. Don't pick it up normally because it will become trimmed. When you're walking, you can hold down control to run next time you click somewhere. This has some niche uses like Forkath and Inferno. That way you don't have to move your mouse to click your run energy. You can rearrange your house without having to delete and remake entire rooms. If you go into your house in building mode and click the house options, you can see the viewer button. This shows the layout of your house and allows you to edit it. After rat catchers, you can use the Rat Pits minigame teleports. This is a pretty fast way to get to Port Sarim or close to West Arty. Another weird way to get to Port Serum is by talking to Shantae in Al Karid. Ask him what this place is and then say you're an outlaw. Select the no option twice and you'll be taken to the Port Serum jail. You can just pick the lock here to escape. This works in free-to-play as well. When you're walking around the wilderness and don't want to get PK'd, go to a free-to-play world. As long as you're not in a member's area, you can hop to a free-to-play world and freely walk around wherever. I do this a lot and I've never seen a free-to-play PK'er. And even if you do encounter one, it's easy to escape free-to-play combat. Not only are there less PK'ers, but you can also avoid all of the wilderness bosses in free-to-play worlds. And some monsters. The smaller your house is, the faster it loads when you enter it. It's mostly determined by how many floors your house has, but it's also good to have as few rooms as possible to save a bit of time. You can set a 5 minute delay for your bank pin, so that whenever you log out for less than 5 minutes and log back in, you don't have to re-enter your pin. You can put items on a table and they won't despawn for 10 minutes. They appear to everyone else within 1 minute like usual though. You can't put untradables on a table, but you can put chin chompas on them. Normally you can't drop chins or die with them, so a great way to trade chins from your Iron Man to your main is to set them on a table. You can one tick the last piece of food when cooking. Once you have one last piece of raw food, click the range again. This cooks the last piece of food faster than normal, but it only works for that last piece. This is because it doesn't give you a menu, it just automatically cooks the one piece of uncooked food in your inventory. A good way to cure poison or venom is to go to your house and leave it. Also, if you die in your house, it's a safe death, you just appear outside.
I showed this in another video, but I think it's a great weird tip. Plate skirts are typically one kilogram lighter than plate legs. The exceptions are dragon plate skirts and prosolyte tassets. You can show Lanthus in the Castle Wars lobby whatever Avis device you have, and he'll add the Avis effect into your Castle Wars cape. So whenever you play Castle Wars, your cape will automatically pick up arrows as if you have Avis on. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to treat yourself and buy something you've been really wanting once in a while. You deserve it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you lovely beings tomorrow.